Hello everyone, Dr. Shubham Adhawal here. So today we are going to discuss about the very important topic that is about the emergency drugs. Why these are important is because the emergency drugs have a certain dose and it should be given at a particular dose at a particular time and a perfect dose. If you are giving an additional or higher dose, the patient will surely develop the side effects and if you are giving a lower dose, so the desired action will not take place. So here we are, we will discuss today the emergency drugs which should be there in our cart in order to save the patient. Let's see. So uh, and this is my channel, Mastering the Medicine, where I put various topics, the desired topics or I do ask these topics on my Instagram page as well. So let's start. So you see, whenever you are giving any emergency drug, it is very important that the drug is faster action and it is very short acting. So that if there is side effect, hai, we can stop it there and then. Then it should, its T half should be either in the seconds or in the minutes. The most preferred route of giving is IV. Most of the time we give like epinephrine, we give IV and it can also it, ha, it can also be given IM as in anaphylactic shock. But some drugs such as uh, nitrotriglycin, it has to be given uh, sublingual in case of uh, myocardial infarction. And which uh, drug you have to give from that class, you, you have to give the most active drug of that class so that its action could be attained faster. So the first drug that we are going to discuss today is the epinephrine. Okay, so uh, when I talk of epinephrine, it belongs to the class of catecholamines. Its mechanism of action, so it has mechanism of action. Hai. It works on alpha 1, beta 1 and beta 2. Alpha 1 pe ye kya karega? Ye vasoconstriction karega. Beta 1 pe iska bahut prominent action hai ki cardiac contractility ko badhata hai. And beta 2 pe it will cause bronchodilatation. So ek aisi condition jahan pe vasodilatation ho raha hai aur bronchoconstriction ho raha hai. Such a condition is the anaphylactic shock. So there it becomes drug of choice. What is the dose we give? We give 0.3 to 0.5 mg. Okay, and we'll see the action. Agar action nahi aaya hai, we will repeat the dose. Agar abhi bhi action nahi aaya, we'll again repeat the dose. And if still the action is not received, we will get a give a IV infusion at 0.05 to 0.1 mg. And what is the dilution in case of anaphylactic shock? It is 1 is to 1000. But in case of cardiac arrest, you have to give 1 milligram IV in the dilution of 1 is to 10,000. It is very important to remember these dilutions. Okay. Now we will come to the next drug. We all know norepinephrine or noradrenaline. Uh, yeah, before going to norepinephrine and noradrenaline, we'll see why these uh, uh, dilutions are important. So when you are giving 1 is to 1,000, like in the anaphylactic shock, you have to give either IM or subcutaneous or endotracheal. When you are giving it uh, IV or uh, the intraosseous, the dilution is 1 is to 10,000. Now you know that this is catecholamine, it has cardiac contraction, it has alpha-1 vasoconstriction. So alpha-1 vasoconstriction, sometimes there is an excessive hypertension because of that. So you should be prepared with your drug, fentolamine, which is an alpha-1 blocker. Because of its action beta 1, it causes cardiac contraction, so it is prone to cause arrhythmias. So your drug asimilol should be ready. It can also co cause local necrosis, so always give it in a large veins. And if the necrosis has occurred, you give locally, you apply what? You apply fentolamine to that area. For example, ye jo choti veins hai, isne ye choti veins pe effect kada hai. So, here is necrosis. So, you have to inject locally fentolamine inject karna hai. Very carefully, be very careful when you are giving tricyclic antidepressants and uh, monoamine oxidase inhibitors along with it because they in itself are catecholamines. So, you have to decrease the dose of sympathomimetic drugs. What you have to monitor? You have to monitor BP, you have to monitor heart rate, you have to monitor pulse rate, you have to look at ECG for any arrhythmias and most important, urine output. Now coming to the next drug, this is how it looks. This is a levofed. 
and levofed uh, or noradrenaline it again belongs to the class of catecholamine it works on two receptors one is alpha 1 and other is beta 1 it does not work on beta 2 to matlab bronchodilatation to nahi karega to yahan alpha 1 and beta 1 तो ज्यादा इसका एक्शन अल्फा 1 पे रहता है तो ज्यादा वेजो कंस्ट्रक्शन में हेल्प करेगा तो शॉक में द प्रेफर्ड ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज द नोरेड द यू वेयर इट वुड बी यूज्ड इन द वेजो डायलेटरी शॉक इन द हाइपरटेंसिव शॉक एंड इवन इन द सेप्टिक शॉक इट इज आल्सो अ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन कार्डियोजेनिक शॉक व्हाट इज द डोज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर इट इज 0.025 टू 0.4 माइक्रोग्राम पर केजी पर मिनट आईवी इन्फ्यूजन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट शुड नॉट बी गिवन आईएम और सबक्यूटेनियस बिकॉज वहां पे ये नेक्रोसिस कर देगा वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग रूटीनली यूज इन आईसीयू एंड इमरजेंसी कमिंग टू द थर्ड ड्रग दैट इज डोपामाइन एंड डॉब्यूटामाइन इट इज अगेन अ सिंपैथोमायमेटिक ड्रग इट वर्क्स ऑन अल्फा 1 एंड बीटा 1 वेयर इट इज यूज्ड इट इज यूज्ड इन एक्यूट हार्ट फेलियर एंड इन अ कार्डियोजेनिक शॉक आफ्टर नोरेड्रिलानिन व्हाट इज द डोज द डोज इज 2 टू 20 माइक्रोग्राम पर केजी पर मिनट आईवी इन्फ्यूजन राइट दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स after that we will discuss about a very very important drug that is atropine atropine is a parasympathetic drug it is anticholinergic it is anti muscarinic so mechanism of action will be it is a anti muscarinic where it will be used in cases of bradycardia in cases of asystole in cases of mushroom poisoning and very very important in cases of opc poisoning ab aap dekho jo india mein usually the government hospitals mein aati hai you will get it 0.6 mg wali vial fine now we will see कि इसकी अलग अलग में डोज अलग अलग में कितनी कितनी होगी when it is a bradycardia or asystole you give 0.5 to 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes we will discuss why we do not give less than 0.5 mg so 0.5 mg say 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes and maximum dose you have to give 3 mg और कैसे देनी है it has to begin rapid IV push in case of mushroom poisoning 1 to 2 mg initially rapid IV and then as per need in OPC poisoning, very important. In mild to moderate, you have to give 1 to 2 mg IV initially. And in severe, 3 to 5 mg initially. Again, it has to be given rapid IV push. And then after that, you have to give 10 to 20% of the initial dose. For example, if you are giving 3 mg and then you have to set the dose, so you will get 0.3 mg per minute infusion. So why you are not giving less than 0.5 mg? If you are giving less than 0.5 mg, it in itself will cause bradycardia. So very very important to remember. Now it is an anticholinergic drug. So it will it will cause urinary retention. So very important to look at urinary output. It can cause tachycardia. So very important to look at heart rate and ECG as well. Next drug we will talk. So after atropine, after atropine we will talk of amiodarone. Amiodarone is a very very important drug. It is an antiarrhythmic and it blocks potassium channel. It is a drug of choice in ventricular tachycardia, usually pulseless ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillations. Uh, what is a dose? You give 300 mg IV push. If still no response is there, you add 150 mg more to it. The main side effect of amiodarone, despite being many other side effects, but we are talking about emergency drug. What would be the emergency side effect? It would be a bradycardia. So never give it along with beta blocker or calcium channel blocker such as venipamil. It also causes QT prolongation. Because of that, there is usually a tosides, T point is TDP, and there is in such an increased risk along with QND. So uh, never give it along with enzyme inhibitors such as ketoconazole or azithromycin because it, what it will cause? It will cause increased amiodarone toxicity. Next drug very important magnesium sulfate again it is an anti arrhythmic drug it will block calcium channels where it will be used it would be used jab amiodarone ke karen tosides de point is over. What is the dose? It is 1 to 2 grams slow IV push. What are the side effects? Hyperreflexia. Uh, there will be exaggerated deep tendon reflexes. It will cause apnea. It will cause flushing. And you have also have to monitor urinary output in these cases. Now coming to the next drug, that is lidocaine, also known as lignocaine. It is an anti arrhythmic drug. Uh, where it would be used? It would be used in a myocardial infarction and when there is a digoxin induced ventricular tachycardia or V fibrillations. Uh, for, for where the action will lay? The action will lay in blocking sodium channels. What is the dose? The dose is 1 to 1.5 mg per kg IV push followed by infusion kitne pe shuru karni hai? 0.75 mg per kg per minute continued infusion. So maximum dose you can go is up to 3 mg per kg not more than this. Okay. 
सो लाइडोकेन इज ए एंटी एरेथमिक बट बहुत कॉमनली देखा जाता है कि एमरजेंसी में वेन यू इंजेक्ट लाइडोकेन दे इज अ सीजर तो नेवर गिव पेशेंट फेनीटोइन बिकॉज वो भी सेम क्लास का है जिस क्लास का लिग्नोकेन है तो यू ऑलवेज हैव टू गिव डाइजिपन इट इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट इज एडिनोसिन वी ऑल नो द इम्पॉर्टेंस इट इज अ एंटी एरेथमिक एंड इट विल ब्लॉक द एवी नो तो एक सिंपल सा रूल है वन इज अ सुपरा वेंट्रिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया और एक है वेंट्रिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया तो जो सुपरा वेंट्रिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया है उसका इफेक्ट कहाँ है या एस ए नोड पे है या एवी नोड पे है जो वेंट्रिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया है उसका इफेक्ट है बंडल ऑफ हिल्स पे पुरकिंजी फाइबर्स में तो जब भी तुम बात कर रहे हो सुपरा वेंट्रिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया की तो इसका मतलब एस ए नोड या एवी नोड की जो इम्पल्स है वो हायर है तो तुमको उसको ब्लॉक करना है तो एडिनोसिन ब्लॉक्स ए वी नोड इट इज़ यूज इन अ सुपरा वेंटिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया एंड इन अ प्रोक्सिजोमल सुपरा वेंटिकुलर टैकी कार्डिया इट हैज़ टू बी गिवन आई वी पुश ऑफ सिक्स एम जी अगर देर इज नो रिलीफ टू द सिम्टम्स यू गिव ट्वेल्व एम जी आई वी रैपिड पुश नेवर स्लो आई वी फाइव बिकॉज इट वॉन्ट रीच टू द प्लेस ऑफ एक्शन वॉट आर द साइड इफेक्ट्स वेरी केयरफुल इट कॉजेज ब्रोंको कंस्ट्रक्शन सो इट इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन द पेशेंट ऑफ सी ओ पी डी एंड एजमा it also causes hypotension so it is very very important to monitor bp along with it the next drug that we have is acimolol acimolol is again an anti arrhythmic and it is a beta blocker mechanism of action it will block the beta 1 action and it will block the av node again the use will be in supraventricular tachycardia and proximal supraventricular tachycardia so you have seen now adenosine and acimolol you are giving it in a supraventricular tachycardia and lidocaine lignocaine these drugs you are giving in a ventricular tachycardia what is the dose of acimolol it is 0.5 mg per kg iv bolus slow iv over 1 minutes continue the infusion at 0.02 to 0.05 mg per kg per minute iv infusion side effect as it is a beta blocker it will cause bradycardia so you have to monitor the heart rate you have to monitor the pulse you have to look at the ecg it can cause asystole if given very fast so it can because it is blocking av node never give beta blocker along with calcium channel blocker such as valepamil the next important drug we have to talk about is a mannitol we all know it is a osmotic diuretic what is its mechanism of action it will increase the urinary output so basically ye kar kya raha hai cells mein se pani ko nikal raha hai theek hai and usko urine mein excrete out kar raha hai jiske karan aapka urinary output bada hua hai where it would be used very commonly acute congestive glaucoma and cerebral edema सो डिफ डिफरेंट डोज है दोनों में अगर हम एक्यूट कंजेस्टिव ग्लोकोमा की बात करेंगे तो डोज है 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव टू टू ग्राम पर के जी आई वी ओवर थर्टी टू सिक्सटी मिनट्स और सेरिब्रल एडिमा में इसकी डोज है पॉइंट टू फाइव टू वन ग्राम पर के जी एवरी सिक्स टू एट आरली एज पर नीड बी वेरी केयरफुल वेन एवर यू आर गिविंग ऑस्मोटिक डायबिटिक पेशेंट विल हैव पलमरारी एडिमा पेशेंट विल कैन गो इन टू हार्ट फेलियर देर कैन बी हाइपर कलीमिया और हाइपो कलीमिया बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सेसिव सिक्रीशन so always monitor the cardiac parameters heart rate bp go for an ecg and also monitor the potassium it is very very important we usually forget it and cerebral edema mein dena hai acute congestive glaucoma mein dena hai it can cause pulmonary edema it can cause heart failure okay next next after this so it is very clearly written that it is contraindication of severe renal impairment because its ka jo excretion hai diuretic action hai all through the kidney so be very careful for this next is sodium bicarbonate we use it very commonly in our emergencies and basically what it is it is a alkalizer to iska mechanism of action explain karne ka zarurat nahi hai itself it explains a alkalizer to kahan diya jayega mostly when ph is less than 7.1 that is mostly in the cases of metabolic acidosis so what is the dose it is 5 ml equivalent in the fluid over 4 to 8 hours 1 ml equivalent is equal to 84 mg followed by a subsequent dose based on ph abg karwaoge emergency mein aapko usi samay pata lag jayega what is the side effect when you give in the smaller veins wahan pe vesication ho jati hai chote chote vesicles hain bulle ban jate hain to isko bhi लार्ज वेन्स में लेना है स्मॉल वेन्स में नहीं देना है जैसे हम नॉर्थ और एड्रीन एलिन को लार्ज वेन्स में दे रहे थे इसको भी आपने लार्ज वेन्स में ही देना है आफ्टर दैट वी हैव अ फर्स्ट फैनिटोइन व्हिच इज गिवन इन द स्टेटस एपिलेप्टिकस इट इज अ एंटी एपिलेप्टिक इट विल ब्लॉक सोडियम चैनल्स एंड यूज्ड इन अ स्टेटस एपिलेप्टिकस व्हाट इज द डोज द डोज इज 20 एमजी पर केजी आईवी स्लो आईवी फॉलोड बाय एन इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ 150 एमजी पर मिनट what is the side effect if you will give rapid so it it can cause asystole so uh, these are the slides 
which we have to uh, remember and i have just touched a topic i have just talked about very few drugs and it's stored so that we can easily remember it you can tell me more which are the other topics which should be discussed and it can be helpful for you as well as for me and you can ask your doubts uh, if you like the video uh, kindly subscribe to this channel and like the page thank you